Hello and welcome to Cracksoid. Today I am thrilled to share with you a highly informative video tutorial. In this tutorial, I will guide you through the process of encrypting and decrypting the ROM on your Android phone. Moreover, I will also demonstrate how to install custom ROM on both encrypted and decrypted ROMs, ensuring that you don't miss out on any of the benefits of either option. So without further ado, let's start. Let's start by defining what encrypted and decrypted ROMs are. Encrypted ROMs are ROMs that have been encrypted using a security algorithm to protect your data. Decrypted ROMs on the other hand are ROMs that have been decrypted and do not have any encryption applied. If you want to learn more about encryption, decryption, encrypted ROMs, decrypted ROMs and their relation as well as the difference between them, I have created a dedicated video that you can find in the description section below. Before you begin, make sure to back up your data as the decryption process will wipe your phone. Additionally, ensure that you have the necessary files and tools ready including the ROM file, a custom recovery and the decryption tool. Now let's dive into the process of decrypting an encrypted ROM. In this video, I'll be using Project Alexar 3.5 ROM to demonstrate how to decrypt your ROM. Before you begin, make sure you have all the necessary files on hand. You will need the disable DM Verity Force Encrypt ZIP file which serves as a decryptor to decrypt your ROM and any other ROM file you want to install on your phone. And note that downloading the ROM file is optional. If you are only interested in decrypting the existing ROM that's currently installed on your device, you don't need to download an additional ROM file. However, if you are planning to install a different ROM and want it to be decrypted, then you should also download the corresponding ROM file. And remember, you need to store the downloaded files on your micro SD card or on a pen drive because our ROM is encrypted and we won't be able to access it from custom recovery section. In my case, I'm going to install a new ROM and decrypt it as well. So I need to make sure I have both the disabled DM Verity Force encrypt file and the ROM file I want to install downloaded and ready to use. Now it's time to reboot your phone into recovery mode. If you haven't installed a custom recovery yet, you can check out a video tutorial in the description section to learn how to do so. Once you are in recovery mode, you need to wipe some partitions such as Dalvik, CAS, System, Data and Vendor to make sure your phone is ready for the new ROM. Then select your micro SD card as your primary storage and locate the folder when you have stored your ROM chip file. As I have lots of downloaded files and for now I'll select the Siberia OS. Simply tap on it and swipe right to install it. This process may take a few minutes so I'll fast forward it. Once the ROM is installed, you need to install the disabled DM Verity Force encrypt file. So locate the file and tap on it. Then swipe right to install it. This should only take a few seconds. Next, you need to format your phone. Go to the wipe section and select format data. Type yes to confirm and tap on the tick mark button. This will erase all your data. So be sure to back up everything important beforehand. Finally, tap on reboot system to restart your phone. If you are planning to install a new ROM and want to decrypt it, then do as I just did. But it's important to note that if you want to decrypt your existing ROM without installing a new one, you can simply install the disabled DM Verity Force Encrypt chip file. Format your phone and reboot the system. However, sometimes you may encounter errors when doing this. So it's generally better to flash a new or existing full ROM first for a smoother installation process. Now I'll fast forward this setup process and I'll directly showcase the encryption status of my device. And as you can see on its advanced security setting, this ROM is now decrypted as my phone not encrypted written here. And this means that I have disabled the encryption on my phone, which makes it more vulnerable to security threats. It's important to note that decrypting your ROM can compromise your phone's security. So it is not advisable to do so unless you really need it. The only benefit of using a decrypted ROM is that you won't need to format your phone when you change to a different custom ROM. However, for people like me who frequently switch between custom rooms, decrypting our phones can save time and data. Just keep in mind that the security risks are greater when using a decrypted room. So in this way, you can also decrypt your encrypted phone. And this is Siberia OS based on Android 13 and has Android security update of February 5, 2023, which is now decrypted. Now let's move on to installing custom rooms on decrypted device. 
The process is a bit different from the normal ROM installation process, but don't worry, I'll guide you through it step by step. The process is a bit different from the normal ROM installation process, but don't worry, I'll guide you through it step by step. Moving on to installing a new ROM on your decrypted phone, the first step is to reboot your phone to custom recovery mode. For this demonstration, I am using the Orange Fox custom recovery, but you can use any other custom recovery like TWRP, Pitch Black or others that you prefer. Once you are in the custom recovery mode, you will notice that you now have access to your internal storage since your phone is decrypted. When your phone was encrypted, you would not have been able to access the internal storage from custom recovery mode. Now head over to the wipe section in your custom recovery mode and select Talvik, Cache, System, Vendor and data partition. Swipe right to wipe them all. After wiping the necessary partitions, go to the file section and locate the folder where you have stored your downloaded ROM file. Since your phone is now decrypted, you can store it on your internal storage. However, I have my ROM file on my micro SD card, so I'll select the micro SD card as the primary storage. Locate the ROM folder and select the ROM file I want to install. For now, I'll select ROS and then swipe right to flash it. Keep in mind that the flashing process may take some time so I'll fast forward this process. Once this ROM flashing process is completed, we need to flash the DFE file which is the Disable Force encryption file. Locate the DFE file, select it and swipe right to install it. After installing the DFE file, we need to simply tap on the reboot system button and your phone will reboot. This is the advantage of decrypting your phone. In a decrypted ROM, you won't need to format your phone every time you switch to a new ROM. However, remember that you must flash the DFE file every time right after installing a new ROM or else your phone will be stuck on a boot loop. And after using this ROM for some hour, if you decide to install a new ROM again on your decrypted phone, it's very easy. Simply wipe the necessary partitions, flash the ROM file, then flash the DFE file and reboot your phone to the system. And that's it. So if you are someone who switches to different custom rooms regularly, decrypting your phone can save you time and effort. But keep in mind that decrypting your phone also makes it more vulnerable to security threats. So be sure to take proper precautions and back up your important data before decrypting. In this way, you can both decrypt your encrypted phone and install a new room on decrypted device. Now let's move on to the next section which is how to encrypt your decrypted phone and install a new ROM on an encrypted phone. I'll explain and demonstrate this in a simple way so that you can easily understand. As you can see I have ArrowOS installed on my phone which is now decrypted so I'll show you how to encrypt it. To do this I'll also demonstrate by installing a new ROM so make sure you have downloaded the ROM that you want to install on your phone. I have downloaded and stored it on my micro SD card but you can also keep it on your internal storage since your phone is not encrypted. Now reboot your phone into custom recovery mode and go to the wipe section. Select partitions such as Dalvik, Gas, System, Vendor and Data and swipe right to wipe them. After wiping the necessary partitions to install a new ROM, go to the file section and locate the ROM file that you have downloaded. If you have stored it on your micro SD card, select the SD card and go to the ROM folder. Then tap on the ROM that you want to install. For now, I'll select Project Alexa 3.6 ROM and swipe right to flash it. After about 5 minutes, the flashing process will complete. Now go to the wipe section and select the format data option. Type yes to confirm the flash and tap on the tick mark button. Now your phone is formatted completely, simply reboot your phone to the system by tapping on the reboot system button. I'll fast forward both the rebooting and boot setup process so that you don't have to wait as long as I did. After the completion of the rebooting and boot setup process, I'll directly showcase the encryption status from the advanced security setting. As you can see our phone is now encrypted. So in this way, you can also encrypt your decrypted phone and make your phone secure. One benefit of having an encrypted phone is that your data is safe even if your phone is lost or stolen. Now as we have encrypted our phone and installed Project Alexa ROM, I'll showcase how to install a new ROM on an encrypted device. To do this, you need to download a ROM file for your device and store it on a micro SD card or pen drive since your phone is now encrypted and you won't be able to access the internal storage on custom recovery mode. As I have already stored the ROM file on my micro SD card, I'll reboot my phone into custom recovery mode. In custom recovery mode, go to the wipe section and select necessary partitions such as Talvik, Cache, System, 
vendor and data and swipe right to wipe them. After wiping the partitions, go back to the file section and select the micro SD card first. Then locate the folder where you have stored the ROM file. For now, I'll tap on the new Alpha Droid ROM file and swipe right to install it. After about 5 minutes, the ROM flashing will be completed and now we need to go back to the wipe section again. Then select format data and type yes to confirm the flash. Tap on the tick mark to format your phone. After formatting your phone, simply tap on reboot system to reboot your phone. Remember that in an encrypted ROM, every time you flash a new ROM, you will need to format your phone. This will take some time, so I'll fast forward this process and directly take you to the encryption status on security setting. As you can see, my phone is still encrypted and now I have a new ROM called Alpha Droid installed on my device. Thank you for watching this video on how to encrypt and decrypt your Android phone and install a new ROM on both encrypted and decrypted phone. I hope you found this tutorial helpful and informative. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell to stay updated with my latest videos on Android tips and tricks. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.